What kinds of assessment can community partners engage in? Community partners and employers are important contributors to the EL assessment process. When students are on placements, partners have both the industry expertise and direct experience working with a student to provide relevant feedback on their learning. For course-based experiential learning, community partners and employers are valuable sources for student projects and are situated to provide helpful feedback. In either case, it's important to prepare partners to participate and contribute effectively. Here, we will look at opportunities to have partners contribute to the assessment of students and will identify what supports they will need to do so successfully. That requires a significant amount of work on our end because you have a need a constant supply of clients who are willing to let us do the work. But if you think about it from a resource perspective, it's an absolute tragedy to have 50 graduate students working on environmental issues that aren't real. So working on a project that's for the sake of school, when you have a bunch of clients around the region who can't afford to get this kind of work done. I would say I was lucky enough to work. My co-op term was amazing. So I kind of tried to mimic what my boss did for me when I was at co-op, because he, he wouldn't tell you what to do. He just assumes that you've been in class, you've gone through that, so you know your stuff. So he just gave me that ownership and said, you know what, okay, I need you to present to the board, of, board members two weeks from now. Here's what I want. He'll just give me pointers. Here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to do X, Y, Z. I want you to concentrate on ABC. Go do it. And that's kind of what I do with the kids now. I just don't spoon feed them. I just say, you know what, you've been through class, so here's what I expect from you. I think when something's not going well, sometimes it's just that, maybe that connection of, of understanding. And I think it's just an issue of going and talking with the students. I've had that opportunity here. Um, and the student told me, you know, afterwards, I said, they says, yeah, I know I didn't do so well here on this one specific task. And I said, that's fine, that's great. That's why I'm here, that's what we're talking. Let's, let's build up, what can we do next time so that you do do better, that you can go and you can do that. And guess what? I found another opportunity within a month to put the student in the same kind of situation. And this time they were so proud when they came out of it. Yeah, we, we did this and this and we covered it and, and we nailed it. Even we just recently ran an, um, an interprofessional education event and students came together, multidisciplinary teams, we formed them, we had 144 students participate, uh, 20 per team, representing seven different disciplines at this campus, and uh, they solved a case, they worked on a case together, and then we had a panel, a group of panelists, external, debrief the case about how they would handle it, and this is just to get students practicing or, and understanding that they have to be able to, to communicate between professions to get work done to help. Uh, in society in whatever profession they're working in. And so uh, that event was experiential by its very nature. Um, you know, it was a way to target outcomes for the course in an experience that was external to the course but ticked boxes at the same time.